What's shaking, everybody? Welcome back to the Nerdy Couch Show. We're here with another episode of Andor. We're on episode nine. Glad to see y'all. Uh, remember to hit those notifications, subscribe, like, if you want to watch more of this ridiculous content. With me, as always, on Andor is the producer, the lovely Laura. Um, excited to be back, Laura, or what? Yeah, another episode. Good so, episode. We were wrong. Yep. The theory has gone awry. It was yep. it was a great theory up until this point. Yeah. And I thought I it was like, gonna stay. I thought I that feel was like it. they they did it on purpose, I think. They watched the Nerdy Couch show and they're like, you know, let's just fuck them right up. <laughs> yeah. So we were saying, we were saying, if you haven't been keeping up, that it seemed like every three episodes we were getting a really action-packed episode. Um, the The first one was kind of uh, when Andor was getting away from Farrick. Uh, so it was a big action episode, a lot of gunfight and whatnot. And then in episode six, we had the full heist, and there was tons of action there. So we were anticipating big things in episode mm -hmm. nine. Mm -hmm. And we got another story building episode yeah which and is i don't fine. even know if the next one's going to be the action one i don't know either um i hope it doesn't build until 12. i hope not either yeah maybe we'll get a couple of bangers in a row yeah maybe <clears throat> um so yeah we were expecting the prison break to happen this episode mm -hmm. um in case anybody was wondering we are going to be doing some spoiler stuff so now i've already said no jailbreak this episode so Oops. what course who do what characters do you want to talk about first oh uh, how about vel that was that was a shock go ahead go ahead start us up i like i knew that they must have known of each other yeah. Through Luthen, at least. We're talking about Mon Mothma and and Mon Belle. Mothma and Bell. Yeah. But, but did you, you didn't. Wow, I didn't know that, and I didn't yeah. know that she came from a rich background either. Yeah, it kind of, they kind of alluded to it uh, in the episode before when Sintra and Bell were talking, and she said she could pretend she's a rich girl running away from, you know all her yeah. wealth. Um, I didn't catch on to that until I was watching some other like review shows. Yeah. And I was like, oh son of a yeah, I didn't catch yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Sintra's hardcore. She just ripped up Bell. So Oh my god, is she ever I, I was... really hope we get to see more of Sintra. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And I mean I, I I'm fairly sure we will. Um yeah. and we'll kind of skip to that when we start talking about Bix, how I think Sintra might play in there. Oh okay. But, so yeah. Mon Mothma, Bell, cousins um yep and they have a bit of a meeting Perrin is a is a jerk because uh because mm -hmm. that's his mo yeah he Kinda, doesn't know how to not be a jerk yeah he chirps her so, for for bell sorry for uh not being married yet because yeah it seems like um if they get married in their teens maybe even um from that planet so yeah so Bell's then past apparently Cinta is a secret. Yeah. 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 Well, maybe um, there's parts of the galaxy where, you know, it's frowned upon to have a, a partner that's not going to produce you children, et cetera. Right. So maybe, who knows? yeah, I'm not really sure, I especially mean, on a real prissy planet like theirs. They seem pretty. It, yeah. It seems really like tight. toity toity. Yeah. 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 And who are you going to pass all your riches on to? Right. Yeah. Awful. Whoever we'll breaks um, into those first. I mean, there should be a lot of adoption uh, opportunities with the Empire destroying, you know, yeah. planets. Yeah. Lots. You would think. You would think. Uh, so, yeah. Um, they kind of have like a dinner thing. Uh, Vel brings uh, Lita. Lita? Mm -hmm. the, uh, a nice the gift. daughter. A beautiful yep. dress. Very pretty. Very nice. 
Um, we see more of that tension between Mon Mothma and her daughter there uh, when she talks yep. about her father maybe not approving of the dress and she just kind of shoots back that he lets her do whatever she wants. Yeah. So I got that. my blood boiled a little bit there. I was like, oh, you little brat. <laughs> she really is. Yeah. She's... But I mean, so is the father. So, you know, yeah. <clears throat> she's coming so, by it, honestly. <laughs> yeah. She's not taking after Mon Mothma, it doesn't seem anyway. No. No. Um, and Mon Mothma uh, talking to her banker friend again. Tay. Um, yeah. It seems like she's not going to be able to easily get the money that, that she's she's wanting. Not without a pretty easy loan, it seems. Yeah. Um, yeah. She, was, she was pretty taken aback by having to go to a thug for money. Yeah. Which would be yeah. interesting because obviously she does. I mean, she has to. That's the only choice right now. Yeah. I mean, so. but he wants to meet at her, her home too. So Yeah. It's kind of going to put her in a bind of uh, like, having an association with this loan shark by the side yeah. of it, right? So Oh yeah, because I'm sure she's like being watched by everyone. She's a public figure. Yeah. And now loan shark is gonna float in. So Yeah. And I mean if her they're... husband's home, he'll probably, you know, sell his photos to the tabloid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um oh we also get Mon Mothma talking at the Senate in this episode, which was pretty nasty too. Like that was interesting. I I was like, are they are they just disagreeing with her because they are for the Empire and they will not go against the Emperor, or are they disagreeing because they're scared? Probably both, I would imagine. And I mean yeah. she's she's been a pretty big freedom fighter this whole time and talking yeah. against the Empire, but people are getting to see what the Empire does. To people that are standing against right so right it's a really dangerous time and we know that um in the near future like within a few years uh the empire is going to finish dissolving the senate so i mean it's on its its decline right now and you can yeah. see the, the end of democracy really setting in um right now it's the cat show apparently <laughs> mine's just standing staring at the door right now so i should probably i'm just gonna just let the cat out yeah just slide over here. Just gonna... Hello? Hello? Hi. The kid cat. um so yeah that's kind of that's kind of it around mon mothma vel and, and mon mothma have a bit of a different styles obviously yeah um and i think mon moth might have an idea that bell was a part of that eldari piece you think so like she, well i think she's she she's curious about it because she does ask what uh he has her doing oh okay so she was kind of touching on it trying to feel it out but so did she just yeah. hand off her job of going to kill Andor to Sinta? That's kind of what it seems like. Well, I, I think because Sinta has to stay there and kind of watch out for that piece, but she must have something else that she needs to be doing. And she has to keep up appearances too at some point, right? Like, Well, yeah, I guess so. <clears throat> and Sinta, Sinta might be from, you know, I, I can't remember where they said she was from, but obviously she's kind of on the run and doing her thing as a rebel she doesn't really need to be well she's anywhere. got no family right they were all killed off from the empire yeah so she so. doesn't have the same ties or has to keep this this face yeah um so yeah i thought that was kind of interesting too what else did we have there's a fly, I saw in the here. fly. yeah i saw it Flying here <laughs> lose my mind um Let's move on to who else? Let's move on to uh, Cassian. Okay. What's going on with Cassian now? He he's starting to get pretty close to some of these prisoners. Yeah. Like he's developed relationships with most of these guys. 
Yeah, it feels like, and I mean, uh, at one point we get to see him on the floor with uh, one of the other inmates from a different table. Yeah. And uh, he floats to the bathroom. Yeah. And is doing something with the piping. Not really yep. sure what. And they didn't really I'm explain really sure why, what that was about or how that was a part of the plan. Um, but they were talking about, you know, jumping the guys. They were checking to see what parts of the, the floor would light up when, um, when they push those buttons and really trying to work out a plan on how they would get up and out. Yeah. Um, so that was, that was a cool portion of the story is the plan is starting to really come together on how they're going to escape. And obviously yeah, they're going to have to steal boots, right? They're going to have to get Well, they're going to have to, yeah. At least one pair of boots. One, one, I think they switched their plan there to one weapon, one pair of boots even. So who's, yeah. who's, who's getting the boots, really? I kind of think it's going to be Kino, and I think Kino's going to die. You think so? I think so. Yeah, because by the end of this episode, Kino finally kind of comes around. And I yeah. uh, obviously a big part of that was they find out that uh, they're basically, when your sentence is over, you're just getting moved to a different floor. Yeah. And you're never leaving. You're never so leaving. You just, it's a your never only hope stuff. is to break out. Yeah, or die. Or which die. Somebody, which somebody does in this episode. Olaf. Yeah. What the hell? The old man only, only had a few days left or something. Um, and yep. has a massive stroke. Yep. And uh, we find out that they killed an entire unit of prisoners. Yeah, because, all of level two. Yeah, because they accidentally put a prisoner that had left there back in there. So they, they, they know now and it's spreading because the doctor is telling, uh, Cassian and them about everybody being killed on that floor so that the secret didn't get out. Yeah. Of course, now they have to keep it secret that they know. Yeah. Or else they'll be killed too. That's right. And then eventually you just have no prisoners. And then those little cogwheels aren't getting made. <laughs> Wish I had. I wish I had more knowledge into what exactly those even are. There's a theory going around that those cog things that they're making are actually used to keep the prison like afloat in the water. Either afloat or they're what's holding it down to the ground under the water. Well, maybe. That could be. Which would be really nasty. Yeah. To have the prisoners make the thing that's keeping them there. Yeah. 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 That would yeah. be awful. I yeah. feel like maybe they're part of the Death Star. Maybe. I mean, the Death Star is huge. Yeah. So maybe That'd they're cool. just getting slave labor to craft all of the pieces, sending it off. Yeah, maybe. That's my thought anyway. Who am yeah. I? I'm just Baron Grimm. Um... I don't, know, I don't know that there was that much else like that really happened with Cassian. There's a lot of those pieces were kind of being shown around him, just kind of working out um, how they were going to get away and whatnot. Yeah. Was... Yeah, there wasn't a whole lot of development with Cassian other than no. showing he's got certain people now that he's talking to and he's gotten yeah. really close with, and he's trying to recruit other people into like the escape effort. They find out that that one elevator thing that goes down isn't electric at all. Yeah. You can't get hurt on it. That's really it with it, with Cassian that I can remember. And, and we do find out that, the, that they their communication system through the sign moves up the levels too. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Because like, uh, I think their boss there says something about how long it takes for information to get from yeah. the lower up so yeah he does mention that yeah yeah so that was interesting too i guess is how intricate their communication system is without being able to actually interact i thought that was kind of cool yeah, yeah. i could see that taking a long time it's just sign language and you yeah. can only do it shift change right right 
So then you have to make sure there's a guy here who can sign to yeah. the guy here who can sign who's just coming off when this one's going in so that when this one's coming off, they can sign to this one. Like, holy yeah. crap. Yeah, pretty intricate. That, yeah. So I would imagine, like, they teach other people to sign, I would guess. In case, I would know, think so, yeah. Kind of keep that Pass up. along, yeah. Yeah. Cassian hasn't learned yet what mm -hmm. anybody's saying. He doesn't know. I don't think he cares to. He wants to get the hell out of there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's pretty much it, I think, for Cassian and stuff. Um, yeah. We can move over to uh, Ferrix. To and Bix. The, the bad stuff going on there. That was pretty much the, the end of the last episode. Was We were yeah. waiting for Bix's torture. And um, then it happens. Holy shit. Yeah. And it's bad. Like. Yeah. It kind of makes you wonder what, uh, what are, are Dizonites? Dizonites? Yeah. What the, they sound like when they're dying, because we don't get to know. But these no. Dizonites, apparently, their their deaths when they scream is so too much for the for the brain to handle. Yeah. And drove the captains of of the massacre insane. Yeah. And they were huddled under a table or something. I think they said they found them huddled under a table um, after that. It's got to be bad. Took that and weaponized it. Well, and right. this one that they used for Bix, he was saying something about how this is children. Mostly children. Yeah. Mostly children. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah. It really puts into perspective just how ruthless the Empire is. Yeah. Little Dr. fucking Kevorkian over there. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He really likes his job. Yeah, he didn't seem all that upset about what he was doing, that's for sure. Mm -mm. Like, no. Remorseless. Even Dedra, really. It kind of seemed like she was happy that Bix wasn't going to crack. Yeah. Yeah. But she's a little sadistic, too. Yeah. And Bix knew, like, didn't matter what she did. Oh, yeah. She was getting no. tortured. It was going to yeah. happen. You're not yeah. going to believe me anyway, she said, I think, at one point. Yeah, she did. Um, so, torture away. Yeah. And the look of abject horror on Bix's face when they first start was yeah. chilling. I yeah, think. It, it was. was. It was a good, great scene, like, well acted. I liked it. Oh, yeah. It was fantastically done. Yeah. Yeah. Because I really, like, literally was, like, turning in my yeah. stomach like yeah. oh my god this poor woman yeah, yeah it was, it was, it was done really well very well visceral almost yeah and she does crack she um, does which you know says a lot i think um about characters like leia and yeah i don't know about han but I, we know he was tortured at one point for information but they didn't even ask him any questions. He said at one point, so he, they were just torturing him for just for the, the fun of it? for the joy of torturing. But Leia doesn't crack; won't give up anybody when she's tortured. And you would think that, you know, from this point to when Leia is tortured, they would have come up with some new, fun ways of getting information. True. So yeah, it's Bix cracks. They leave her in the cell. She's the only person who has seen that. The, the, the only person that's seen Cassian, or they know that has seen Cassian, and however long. So they're, 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 and Marva. Uh, and they, they leave know, Marva. They know that Cassian came back to see Marva and then left her there. Yeah. But I just I remember Dedra when she went back to ISB headquarters was telling them about how she didn't end up talking to Marva. Yeah. Because she's too old and she's really sickly. Yeah. And she's rather used Marva as bait. Yeah. For when Cassian comes back. Right? Well, yeah, exactly. Came Must back with clean. credits and clean shaven. <laughs> Must be him. <laughs> and that's kind of how they picked up that it's very likely that he was a piece of the puzzle at the Eldar too. To... You know, that that scene kind of... I thought it was a little strange that the head honcho guy 
he's so like I need proof for everything throughout the yeah. entire series. Yeah. And then with this one, they're like, well, they reported that he was clean shaven with a pocket full of credits, so that must be him. And then yeah. the guy was like, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I'm like, what just happened there? Well, he's I, you drop I, I think, all your standards. I think at this point he's come to terms with the fact that Daedra's a, a hell of a investigator. Like, oh she, yeah. So he's kind of you know giving her free free run. Mm. And I mean, if she looks good, he looks good. So. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's all, all moving up. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's pretty much all that happens on Ferrix is we just see kind of Vix getting tortured and whatnot. And, and then... um, what's his name? The guy that they arrested and were oh, interrogating yes. before. He's about to be hung. Yeah, yeah. Cause... I wonder if we're going to see that and see the I uproar think... that comes from it. And I think that's that. As soon as they said that, my first thought was kind of that's what's going to push Marva over the edge, right? Oh, yeah. Or... Because her husband Pax? was on no. the same way. Can't Ooh. remember his name. Can't remember his name. Clem? No, no, the guy that's supposed to be hung. Something with a P. It might be Pax. You might be right. It's very short. Start Pack, maybe? Pack. Pack. But yeah, I know you're right. That might be what brings Marva out. Yeah. He gets her killed or something. Something. Or taken. And I feel like if she gets killed. You know publicly that's that's where we're gonna see some serious uprising oh yeah a uh, little and, sweet marva and that might be what pushes Sintra to act possibly you know collect bix herself because if bix is a link to clem or you know clem yeah that furthers her mission as well right she gets to yeah. go kill cassian that's her that's her goal right now. Yeah. So she might rescue Bix regardless. Just to get to Cassian. Yeah. 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 It'd so be smart. Be, it would be. So that'll be an interesting play. I'm interested to see more of what Sintra's going to kind of do. Because she seems fairly ruthless too. Like She's pretty badass. Her dedication to her, her path is unwavering. Like we got to see like a little tidbit of action with her yeah and like i cut i really want to see what else she can do because yeah too. she's ruthless yeah she it's doesn't like... hesitate she just comes in and kills like that one guy yep she just walked in and was like this is stupid why are we all talking yeah <laughs> no conversations just kill no <clears throat> so yeah i think i think it's gonna I, I'm hope I'm thinking in the next episode that's kind of the things that we're gonna start seeing is is that push on Ferrix. Uh, yeah, I hope I'm so. not sure. I'm not sure if we're gonna get the prison break next episode now. You know, I um, don't know. I doubt I'm it. hopeful. I'm hopeful. Yeah. That we're gonna get you know an action episode, but we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're gonna. I'm just gonna call it. I'm usually wrong anyway, so. Just calling it. No Just action calling it. Episode. No action next episode. Like, I think we're going to get something. I yeah. don't know if we're going to get all of it. I don't know if we're going to get the full Ferrix effect and uh, the prison break and whatnot, but I think we're, we're going to at least get a death. I think well, there's yeah. going to be a death for sure. Like a, a serious one? Like like a character that we're maybe. kind of attached to? Yeah, maybe. It might be <laughs> Cyril. <laughs> if, he, if he stalks Dedra again, mm -hmm. I think he's gonna die. I think she's yeah. just gonna kill him. Just snack that little pencil neck of his. Yeah. And just throw him away. I'm almost I'm almost starting to feel like Officer Weasel may um may kill Daedra. You think so? I think he's twisted and he's oh, yeah. not he's not right in the head. No. And he's already weirdly stalking her. Uh -huh. Cuz he knows her 
where she's moving and she kind of keeps like pushing him off and you know calling him down yeah but well and he's he she's what's keeping him going yeah he 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 feels like he can really do this now because of her like maybe maybe that in his mind like her pushing him off now consistently like snaps him because he's obviously losing his mind maybe he kills her maybe maybe and i think that'd be an interesting kind of twist it would be an interesting twist it would be an okay twist because i'm starting to not like her Mm -hmm. she's ruthless too it's funny because i was reading um i can't remember i was reading something and she had mentioned that people had stopped cheering when she does panels oh when she comes in people have stopped like clapping and cheering and stuff (laughs) because she's just that bad like people are like she's a great actress she's She's a great uh, actress that's those i think i maybe i've mentioned it before but that's always my favorite performance is when you can actually dislike someone that you're supposed to dislike so much That you're just like, every time they pop on screen, same as Officer Weasel, every time he pops on screen, like I cringe, like it's like, I just, I'm upset right away. Yeah. Anytime I see Cyril's face, I'm like, I hate that face. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It's really good. Like the the acting in the show has been stellar all around. It's been great. Yeah. I've really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, uh, kind of closer to the end of the episode, Daedra meets up, uh, with her advisor guy there, I'm going to call him her sub officer and they've captured someone from that other, um, unit of rebels and kind of hear about an operation that the rebels might be doing. They tortured it out of them. The, the one guy um, and they're going to put him back on the ship and you know send it out into space and have the guy dead in the cockpit and stuff to really kind of set it up so that they're not they're trying not to throw out red flags so the operation continues right um, so maybe I'm wondering if that operation is going to be one of the big pieces of this of this as well because we've already seen kind of them approach Saw Gerrera, um, presumably for that operation, right? I would think. <clears throat> and now the Empire may have found out about the operation and how that's going to layer. Hmm. And is Cassian going to be a part of that operation at some point then? Because how do I, I, at this point, because we're nine episodes in, we got three more to go. I'm just kind of trying to piece together how they're going to tie all of it all of it together at the end it, there's a lot of pieces that need to come together yeah like so, one yeah. the rebels need to stop trying to kill cassian <laughs> and he needs to become a part of the rebels yeah something's um, gotta give there so i don't know yeah it's almost like i wonder if luthan knows somebody in the prison and Andor ends up maybe saving that guy's life. And when they get out, then Luthen has a change of heart or something because Cassian helped save his life or something. It could be. Maybe. And I, I, we know that the, the one individual there is definitely a part of the rebels uh, in Rogue One and whatnot. So yeah. maybe it's maybe it's him, right? Like he helps him escape and that's kind of um, where that comes from. Yeah, or Andor escapes and does something incredible for the rebellion on his own, and then Luthen is like, "Wait, we actually need this guy. Never mind." Could be, could be. Yeah, I mean, he he's a super resourceful, intelligent dude. Like, yeah, he just needs to have uh, the determination to be a part of the rebellion, and yeah, he'd be an asset, right? So, oh yeah. Absolutely. What else do I got here? Anything cool? What do you got? Anything? 
that's pretty much it. There's another just story progression episode. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, not much else, really. No. But I mean, again, we didn't get the action-packed episode or whatever, but the way that they build story in this show oh. is so <sighs> enticing that it, yeah. you don't need giant action episodes with things exploding all over the place no. constantly. Like the story building in this and the characters and the way that they're acted are are above bar for sure. Like absolutely, i I was expecting an action episode. And I didn't get it, and I, I wasn't disappointed. That's fair. It was That's still fair. good. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. I think it's uh, something that we missed last episode. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. Is the ranking. Mm-hmm. We didn't rank last episode. I don't so even know where make- I was. We have to make sure that we're ranking. You were in that like nine point something range pretty consistently. Nine point three, maybe that was that. You might have been something like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay the same. Yeah. Yeah, I'm enjoying it, but there's nothing pushing it over. I mean, nine point three out of ten is like, I love this show. Yeah. (laughs) You know what I mean? Well, that's bananas. Really. How long were you waiting to do that? For a while. <laughs> For a while. Had my finger on the trigger. No. <laughs> um, I'm probably, you know, I'll I'll shift up. Something about this episode um, captivated me more. Like, I, I don't know what it was exactly, but something made me feel more for the characters, feel more for the show. So okay. I'm gonna, I'll shift up to a happy nine. Ah, and maybe okay. it is maybe it is the fact that you know we didn't get that action episode, and I'm still happy with the episode. Like I'm still enjoying the show, and I didn't need the giant action. Maybe that's what's pushing me out. It was kind of an emotional show. Like it was yeah. an emotional grabber. This one, yeah, yeah. with like Olaf dying and Bix being tortured. Yeah, Pack is about to be hung. Like all these things, right? Yeah. There was there was a lot that happened that kind of sucks you further into loving these characters. Absolutely, yeah. So yeah, Pretty makes funny. sense. Yeah. yeah. So I guess, I'm yeah. cold hearted though, so I yeah. stayed at nine point three. <laughs> That's a strong nine point three. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So yeah. remember, hit the like, notifications button, subscribe if you're not subscribed because we need those subscribers. We need you guys. That's all. Catch you next time. Peace. Good lord. Live long and prosper, my friends.